Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we are up 6.5% on the one-hour chart. We are nearing overbought RSI. If we expand that further to the four-hour chart, we are now positive on the four-hour MACD, and we are also nearing overbought RSI and we may encounter temporary resistance around the 200 moving average on the 4 hour chart. On the daily chart we made a nice double bottom back we had our first bottom back in March 23rd and our second bottom back in April 2nd so if we do manage to fall back lower do expect this to be our support around a price of $1.52 and as for resistance if we do manage to climb higher the next resistance that I see will be around the 50 day moving average this yellow line and that also coincides with past support and since we're below support level that, that act as our next resistance so at the moment we do see a convergence on the 9-day moving average onto the 18-day moving average, this purple line. So we may see a slight reversal in play. However, we do need to break above the 50-day moving average, which we encountered back in March 11th. We failed to break above it, and we continue to dip down lower. So that is our first test. If we do manage to break above the 50-day moving average, do expect the next resistance being the around the price of $1.96 as that was our past resistance back in February 19th and in March 31st or March 11th. So if we do manage to climb higher to the 50 day moving average that is around 3.3% to the upside and if we do continue to climb even higher that Resistance is around 13.3% to our second level of resistance and to hit back to previous support that is around 11.3% to the downside. So let's head back to the day by day probability model. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 40% chance for natural ga gas to climb higher between 0 to 6%, a 40% chance. On the other hand, we have a 20% chance for natural gas to fall between 0 and negative 6%. On the extreme case, we have a 40% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 6% to negative 12%. And let's head to the day by day forecast for natural gas so what we have here is one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these models we should focus on ideally we want to compare the model that is the current trend so right here we have the current trend and we want to overlap which trend is the best match so this is not the best match and I found this to be among the best matches of the models and this states back to June 19, 2007 to August or September 13, 2007. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here on the current trend, we start off at the middle Bollinger Band. We dip lower to touch the bottom Bollinger Band. We made a reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band. Once again, touch the bottom Bollinger Band and revert back to the mean. And now the trend in question, the... June 19, 2007 to September 13, 2007. We start off at the middle Bollinger Band, dip to bottom Bollinger Band, upper Bollinger Band, and once again, our second attempt at the bottom Bollinger Band, and revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points here on the current trend. And there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. And one thing to note, on the current trend, we do manage to touch the upper Bollinger Band twice. So do take that in consideration that the trend in question did not have that 
happen, so do take that into consideration. So back to the forecast. So the model that we just examined was June 19, 2007 to September 13, 2007. Back then, natural gas continued to climb higher, around 5% to the upside. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation of 40% chance between 0 and 6%. And if we examine closer at the technical performance of each model and the trend, if we expand out a little bit further. So right here we have the current trend. We're down 31% from monthly high, up 10% from monthly low, up 3% from 10 simple moving average, down 1% from 20 simple moving average, and down 6% from 50 simple moving average. Now the trend that we just examined, it was down 27% from monthly high back then, and up 10% from monthly, up 10% from monthly low, up 4, 5% from 10 simple moving average, up 2% from 20 simple moving average and down 4% from 50 simple moving average. The only difference here between these two trends is the 20 simple moving average. This is up 2% while the current trend is down 1%. So do take that in consideration. And again, this model is now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.